Hey everyone, it's Lexi. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my rainy day book recommendations. So since we are in April, the saying goes, April showers bring May flowers, and that is definitely the case where I live. It's, well, last weekend it was like in the 70s, and then it snowed, and now it's all raining. So Mother Nature is all mixed up. So I decided that because the weather has been kind of like all over the place, and it's been raining in a lot of places, that I decided to give kind of like my rainy weather book recommendations. So like when it's raining outside nothing is better than cozying up on the couch or in your bed with a nice cup of tea and then reading a book. So these are ones that I would um, kind of associate with them. Some of them have some fantasies, some of them kind of dark and mysterious, and then some are just kind of nice contemporaries that take place in um, kind of rainy like climates. So without further ado, let's get started. So if you're in kind of a mood for like a thriller, mystery, like whodunit, then I recommend that you check out The Surgeon by Tess Gerritsen. This is her first novel within the Rosola and Isles series and it follows a girl named Jane who is a homicide detective and this guy who, and she's kind of following the case of a guy who has been dubbed the surgeon. And so this kind of revolves around Jane kind of uh, following kind of figuring out this case and everything there. Like this is a dark and creepy book and I think it's perfect to read when it's kind of gloomy outside. Um, it takes place in Boston so you can kind of have the setting all kind of figured out in your head and yeah like if you're looking for a kind of like a thriller I highly recommend that you check this one out. So this next one is one that takes place in Victorian England so when I picture that I think of like street lamps when it's dark and the cobblestones are all wet from rain. So for this one I chose one that kind of takes place Place in that era and that is The Great and Terrible Beauty by Liva Bray and this is kind of like a historical fiction fantasy paranormal book about a girl named Gemma Doyle who gets sent to like kind of like a finishing school and she ends up kind of figuring out these powers that she's kind of developed or she's just kind of figured out that she's had so it kind of revolves around that. I don't want to give too much away but yeah like there is like I just love kind of like the feel of the, that this book has and just kind of picturing the imagery around me is kind of how dark and gloomy so this is probably one if you're wanting to start a new fantasy series and I highly recommend that you check this one out. So this next one is a contemporary novel that takes place in Seattle so like it always rains there so I decided to put throw this one here as well and it is Fri Firefly Lane by Kristen Hanna. This is a story that follows two friends over the course of three decades and kind of how their friendship grows and evolves since they're like T like um, I think early teenagers to in their 40s and just kind of the ups and downs of friendship and just kind of how important female friendships are. I feel like even if you don't like contemporaries I feel like this should be one that every woman or girl should read just because even it's it has aspects that every person can relate to in terms of friendship and family and just kind of that finding your best friend. So I highly recommend that you check this one out. It is just good. And it's quite long so like if you it's like monsoon season outside. This will be perfect so you can finish it up then. But another Kristen Hanna book is probably one that you probably I'm sick and tired of me talking about, but I thought decided to include it anyways. And it is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. And this is a historical fiction novel around two sisters who live in Nazi-occupied France during World War II and kind of their different kind of perspectives of the war. One ends up being kind of like an undercover spy that helps smuggle pilots back into Spain. And then the other one who is like a mother who has to open her home to Nazi officials and it's just beautiful novel and the cover too I don't know if you can tell but it has like yeah, it's a picture of the Eiffel Tower and it kind of has like raindrops on the front so I decided to include this as well but this is just an all-around good book and I decided to include it anyways. This next one is a kind of adult fantasy series that I started the other month and it is The Dark Witch which is the first book in the Cousins of Dire trilogy by Nora Roberts. This kind of follows the story about kind of like an urban legend within Ireland that there was a dark witch within the 13th century and there was kind of like a bad sorcerer at the time so the dark witch sacrificed herself for her for the safety of her children to kind of kill the sorcerer so she passes down her powers to the children and she kills the sorcerer or so she th or so she thinks so 
Um, even though she thought she killed him, he actually, part of his soul still survived. He's kind of been waiting in the shadows until like the original three um, kind of come back. So at this point to present day, Iona is kind of moves back to Ireland to kind of meet her cousins and complete the three and they have to work together in order to kind of put an end to the sorcerer for once and for all. And this is just good because it takes place in Ireland so it's always rainy and just kind of the feel that you get. I kind of got a similar vibe that I kind of get with Harry Potter because of like the friendships in here and you just feel really warm and cozy and I think this would be a perfect book to read on a rainy night. The last book that I have is another historical fiction novel and it is What She Left Behind by Ellen Marie Wiseman and this is kind of a dual parallel storyline. One follows a present day who is kind of like one girl who is a teenager and she's kind of an orphan and then the other one is I think the 1920s and it's a young girl who refuses to marry the, um, the man that her parents um, kind of force her to and so because she's in love with someone else that like her parents don't approve of so as punishment her parents kind of send her to an insane asylum and just everything unravels from that point this book kind of like these stories eventually intertwine um, within the decades and it was just really neat to see I feel like kind of it kind of sheds light on kind of how mental health and just kind of how mental institutions were kind of treated during this time all kind of people with mental illnesses were kind of viewed by society and i think it's important to read that this one is a really quick read so you can probably finish it in one sitting and it was just really good i feel like you could fly through it and there's kind of like a creepy kind of aspect to it as well that's dark and mysterious so i thought this one would be a good one to include for a rainy day that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these books or if you have any rainy day recommendations so yeah don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time bye guys